Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use Netflix with NordVPN. And I'm also going to show you a before and after comparison once I am connected to the VPN, so you guys can see exactly how to do this and the after effects once I am connected. So first things first, if you don't already have NordVPN, you just wanna go ahead and download it from their website. And I do have a discount link down below which will take 70% off the total price if you haven't already signed up. So so if you're looking to save some money then that's a really good place to start. So anyway I'm going to get stuck straight into this video and I'm going to show you exactly how to connect to NordVPN. So at the moment I'm currently not connected to any uh, servers via the app and I can just show you this uh, by search, search for Marvel as I don't have any Marvel movies accessible in Australia. Um, so to change this pretty much all I have to do is open up the NordVPN app and once you do have it installed on your computer this is what you'll be greeted with. Um, you can simply pan around and kind of connect to a particular country. However, I found it's a lot faster just to search for the actual country that you're wanting to connect to. So in this instance, I'm going to want to connect to the United States as I know that uh, they actually have the largest library. I believe they have an additional 3,000 TV shows and movies um, on top of the Australian Netflix library. So once I do click on the United States, I then get this green icon which just lets me know I am connected and I'm on a private connection as well. And you can also see this here which is in the green padlock and the notification here as well. So when it comes to connecting to NordVPN, it really, really is quick. It only literally takes a couple of seconds. So once I am connected, I just have to refresh uh, my Netflix account uh, kind of account so I can simply do this by going back to the home page and then I can just go ahead and refresh this and now I will be connected to the American server so all I have to do is simply go ahead and search for Marvel again and as you'll be able to see I have a massive list of new movies that I wasn't able to access before so this is a really really awesome way on how to access an additional 3,000 TV shows and movies that you might not be able to get in your country. So if you're looking to get started with NordVPN, don't forget the discount link down below as that will definitely save you some money up front. And as a side note, um, I have personally used NordVPN to connect to American servers, Canadian, uh, Japanese and Mexican servers. So from my own experience, uh, this has been a really good service to connect to multiple countries from around the world. So anyway, hopefully this quick video has been helpful for you guys if you have any comments or questions um, please let them know please let me know down in the uh, section below and I'll be happy to help you out so as always thanks for watching I'll see you all in the next one